it's always fucking awkward to start, man. Uh, <laughs> like, just talk. It's 4 a.m. We're at the edge of Interlaken. We drove about three hours here from Geneva. About three hours ago, our planes landed, so we just got straight here. There's a lake in that direction. It's fucking beautiful. But to actually, you know, see something and have the energy to enjoy it, we have to sleep. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna try to get down to the lake, set up our hammocks and try to fall asleep. I'm fucking slow as hell and I'm probably explaining this stupidly, but need to progress somehow. <laughs> he brought a fucking pillow. <laughs> So we got the setup right here. We got we got the comfort for your head. I just pissed on that floor. <laughs> oh, oh, what is that? Your urine? No, that's not even funny, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Look, this is this is Dylan's sleeping bag. Minus twenty degrees. This thing is good, man. Oh, good thing it's the summer. <laughs> In the wild, sometimes you have to improvise. Oh shit. As you can see, I have a pillow strapped to my chest. That's probably gonna help you because we're gonna have to climb like this rock down. Pitch black right now, so yeah. I'm gonna see how that goes. We gotta cut through somebody's yard apparently. Lights off, lights off. You wanna fall off the cliff? <laughs> Deep and wet. You good? Yeah, I'm just gonna tuck this underneath so I have to hold it. Now I'm climbing flip flops. Fuck. Plenty of people still coming in. Oh, hello, spider. It's not bad. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Simple shit, as always. Don's gonna sleep there. Matt's already there. It's close to six right now, right? Yeah. Hopefully, we're gonna get a good sleep. Seems like a calm night. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Good morning. Damn, this place is beautiful. Tone's up. Matt is still sleeping. Kinda cold. Around 6 a.m. The temperature quickly rose, so it's not a problem. There's not really a goal for today. Probably gonna go find a store. Today's basically a chill day. I need to get the fuck out of this hammock. So this little spot is actually very hard to describe because it's kind of away from... You probably can't see there, but in the distance, there are a bunch of houses right on the edge of the water. This spot is quite different because as you can see there's a huge fucking cliff there. This is a tiny part where the cliff... What I'm trying to make is there are fucking people there. Motherfuckers took a boat here. I hope you can't hear this because we're probably gonna have to interact with them. But the first thing I want to do here, I want to go to that cliff jumping spot. I'm gonna show you. There's construction going on. That's fucking amazing. I didn't even hear it while I'm sleeping. Look at this shit, man. It's about 12 a.m. right now. I don't even know what fucking day it is, bro. Hi, friends. Hello. Hey. Two people, not that much. Time to swim.
This cliff right here, this is what we climbed last night in the fucking dark. It's a pretty good filter of people, you know? Not everybody can get here. Everything was also very moist. <laughs> Nobody's here seemingly, but last time there were people here. They seem pretty chill though. Huh. It's a lot more quiet in the night. So now we're just gonna head into town, pick him some food. <laughs> we're back, we got the fire going, we got food, Matt got his rubber on, he's about to penetrate the house. <laughs> Freezing. Oh, mama! It's fun, we're chilling. This Thanks, whole like trip mama. is gonna be chilling. I don't have any fucking missions yeah. planned. Whatever we're gonna do is gonna be spontaneous. <laughs> but today, there's yeah, gonna be rain. We cannot sleep here because we don't have any tarps. So we're gonna have to sneak in somewhere. Can you put me falling in? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta watch that. So Matt and Dylan are never taking a swim. I'm gonna finally go cook some meat. Ah. Yeah, boy. Look at this thing. It's so good to fucking relax. I spent the last two months like editing the fuck out of videos. I'm gonna try to film a music video here also. So far today has been chill. I'm gonna eat. Take a slow. Starting to rain bit by bit. We're wrapping up and going to start looking for a place to sleep. Yeah. that says interlock and has a sign in the direction that says two hours. I'm assuming two hours by walking, right? So... is right there. Pick me on speaker, man. I'm not going to be able to hear you. Through the front? They're on? Yeah. No, someone's, someone's coming through the back. Someone's already coming through the back. Yeah, the They're on to us. He took a picture of Dylan's ID and everything, dude. We need to get out of here undetected. You understand right. me? And if it comes to worse, just run. Okay.
right, so the hotel that we failed to get into the pool of, that was the hotel we were supposed to sneak in and sleep. We kind of start looking for another place. So the rain is going to start pouring down in like the next couple of hours. Kind of desperate right now because we had no backup plan, which is fucking stupid. Walk around town, drive around town, see if we can find a spot with some roof cover. Yeah, it's about 11. Let's try this place first. Okay. We did it. It has all the amenities. They even got pasta and shit. It's free food, help yourself shit. We can make food, but we can't fucking sleep here. They're like two dog bowls, right? One for food, one for fucking water. The water is filled and brand new. Secondly, it's like a bed. That's like a bed for a midget. That's like a bed for some kind of a fucking other type of animal. That part is like quarantined. The best part is this fucking shit. The gym is not a problem. What I'm afraid is whatever fucking animal dwells here in like daytime. Look, there's a fucking crutch there. This <laughs> is having a motion sensor for lighting if you're not coming up here as often. If they don't have the dog up here right now, they at least are doing construction. So... I kind of found one place that might be possible it's outside at 6 7 a.m. we might be woken up by the workers obviously people walk through here and this is like some kayak rental it can be used to hammock it's better than nothing so dylan is below i'm above matt is somewhere i don't fucking know where he is this took me so fucking long to set up bro I'm gonna get into my fucking thing and try to sleep for another, like, I don't know, fucking two hours till people wake up and start bitching about the fucking kayaks. Well, at least we're gonna be first in line. Let's see how long we can sleep. It's about 4 a.m. now. <laughs> they belong to us? No. Uh, okay. Yes. And now they notice us. After all that walking. So now we're gonna check where the fuck Matt is. Oh yeah, he's the there. Top is on the floor. Hi. It's 8 a.m. Alright, Matt is up. Let's go jump off some fucking cliffs! Woo! We got a plan, we're gonna go a bit that way. He found a guy who can give him, like what, base jumping? Actually, yeah. Base yeah. yeah. It's fucking beautiful. Dylan's friend apparently left some parachute under some van around here. So we got the thing. So Dylan's back in his parachute, just doing some normie tour shit for that fucking thing. That would be fucking sick. Huge ass waterfall here, bro. We're going a bit off the beaten path here. Get a bit closer to the waterfall. Man, everything looks sick here. I feel the shower from here. God damn, this thing is huge. Ah, oh, that was fucking incredible. <laughs> you look soaked, man. Just take a shower? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking like this place. <laughs> so he's down the test. Yeah. Alright, we warmed up a bit. Now, we're gonna see what Dylan's up to. Maybe he packed his ship. 
As long as there's a clearance on the exit point, he can jump. All right. Well, we'll see. Let's pack. We're in the upward right now. We're gonna ride that thing all the way up there. There is a bridge. Dylan wants to get on that bridge, jump off of it. First time I'm not doing anything crazy. This is halfway up the mountain or something. I'm trying to find a way to that bridge. Um, yeah. That is part of the whole like lip. I'm gonna try to climb and get it quick. And hopefully I won't get electrocuted. This is fucking sick. I got too much people looking at me in the back though. Cause the thing just came off. Fucking amazing. Yeah, my timing was kind of shit because we came in right as the people like. That was fucking cool. The difference in elevation is very slight. It's just something different. Come. All right, I gotta go find Dylan. But, me and Dylan are going to the bridge. It should be right here. Scary as hell, man. <laughs> so there is a guy. Hey, give him some, let him focus. Oh, he really doesn't mind, man. Recording. That is fucking scary. That was awesome. He's above the wires. Though. Oh! Up by the pedicula. <laughs> that was sick. This fucking hide on. Done with this shit, gonna go up. Yo, we're not going down there though. Our way up is here. Got down, everything's good. Now Dylan should be with the car, hopefully. So beautiful. to the hostel again, chill a bit, bought some food. This is some uh, minced tea. What we're gonna do is head towards the Hamas Mala. Kind of did everything we wanted to do in this place, and now the night here is gonna be a comfortable spot. So we might as well go to a new place with like new opportunities, planning something interesting. I wanna keep it a bit mysterious. Chill a bit here, and we're gonna drive out in like an hour or so. I know some of you will think I'm drinking beer. I don't drink alcohol. Look, this is literally the same thing I did. Lord Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tea.
distance Came up from persistence All this got me distant to Bergenstock, I think it's called. We're not that far from the Hamishmal left. It's too late to climb now. Hopefully, we can find a pool and that won't be a bust like last time. And this is a fucking rich ass area though. It's nine right now. Yeah, we're gonna try to do it on sunrise, the climb, but for right now, we gotta fucking shower, get comfy, eat something. The pool is right there, and the workers are right there. Okay. Yes. And then go up to that flat thing. So there are people like right there in the bar. And uh. didn't work out again so now we're gonna go try to look for a camp spot and wake up climb down elevator yeah finally did mine that's Dylan oh hi guys yeah and somewhere there is Matt so this is uh Matt's setup Good. All right, night. So the actual interesting thing is that the Hamish one lift is closed down. The path that leads from there to here is technically inaccessible. So tonight is actually looking up to be pretty cold damn night. These trees kind of protect from the wind, but not really. All right. So it's about 5.30, I woke up half an hour ago, couldn't sleep anymore because it's so fucking cold. Probably slept four, maybe three hours. I don't know how the hell Dylan sleeps, Matt has a very thick sleeping bag. I couldn't fucking sleep at all. I had to go walk around a bit. I found this fucking place. But I'm gonna try to wait for the sun to come up a bit more and then go back to bed. I've really gotta upgrade my fucking equipment. I'm just gonna walk around a bit more and when I get warm enough that I can feel comfortable just staying in place, I'm gonna try to go back to sleep because I feel fucking dead. So the sun is starting to rise a bit more. I'm a bit more warm. I'm gonna go back to the hammock, try to sleep at least two more hours. Maybe it's gonna be warmer this time, but It's around 9.30 right now, and I'm cold again. Seems like I can sleep about three to four hours before getting cold. The sun is quite up. I'm still tired, but now I'm also hungry. I'm really more motivated to grab some to eat. At about 5 a.m. when I woke up. Further up there, I found this really nice grill area. I have some meat in the car. I'm gonna go and get that and cook myself some breakfast. Dylan has already left and uh, Matt over there. Gotta start doing something. I climbed back and when I was climbing the first time over here, hurt my hand on this fucking thing. When I jumped, my hand got caught like this and my elbow got pierced by this thing. This is the consequence. It seems just like a needle prick, but that shit like went up to my bone. Fucking hurts, I can bend my hand, but I cannot fully extend it, so that's gonna be a bitch. Bit of change of plans. I'm right next to the lift. 
right there. Dylan. It's right there. He wants to jump right now. The signs that I just showed you, they say that the cliff isn't stable and like stormy situations, rocks and trees might fall off. That's why the lift is shut down. Yeah. Dylan's walking away. The way we're gonna up there, up here, up the net, and then the elevator. Now, my hand is really fucking hurting, but I will try. We'll meet at the top, and he's gonna jump. Let's do this. I'm only bringing the GoPro. My hand is too fucking weak to be climbing with all this shit. Now, the worst thing is gonna be going up through there. I can barely, like, extend it. It hurts so much. And then the elevator is gonna be just monotone, nothing. So he's going first. It's a bit more overgrown this time. It definitely is, yeah. Nice. There are quite a bit of boats down there. So if Dylan does end up jumping into the water, oh, yeah. somebody will help him. But he's gonna try to like use tailwinds and go around the corner. There's no good handholds here. I told you I'd be the first up. Yep. <laughs> My way was more difficult. Every time I do not eat breakfast when I climb this. Yeah, me too. I'm only chewing gum. Quite a bit left. We're about, I would say, a third of the way up. He was fucking spectacular as always. Tickets. May I see your tickets? More than halfway up. It's not fun. It's fun. It's just exhausting. All right, Dylan just called Matt. Okay, so basically, um, one of the ladies at the cafe caught Dylan. Um, so he's had to ditch and hide right now. So when we get to the top, he said, just hop over the wooden pallet separating the walkway from the lift and then just get out of sight. Do not hang around by the lift when we get to the top. Just hop over the wooden pallet and disappear. Somebody there? Yeah, there's like five people looking at us. Just wait. Fucking stupid. We gotta go now. So there's people behind me. Behind that door. Yeah, this looks pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, man. Yo. Alright, so we made it to the top. Cafe is active. Everything worked out nice for the first part at least. So far so good. We're just gonna chill a bit and enjoy the view.
We ate. I'm just chilling here. Dylan's preparing for his jump, and I'm going to go with him. I'm going to film him up close and also kind of be protection in case any people come and try to stop him from jumping. It's very beautiful here. You're going to hear me saying that so many times because from, you know, the environment I came, everything's so flat and different. Kind of depressing. Oh, dear. It's all that. Yep. Right across, man. Three, two, one, two. Everything's okay. That is sick. It is beautiful. I mean, like, look at that. Every Blinded. time you switch on the camera, yeah. this is beautiful. All right, now we're gonna get down to the beginning of the Hamish one and get our backpacks. In my hammock. Yeah. This is the way through down. If we wouldn't have climbed the lift, we would have had to squeeze through here. But for now, we're gonna have to take the ship way. <laughs> Magic. Nice. Hello. So we found the reason why they're so concerned about safety. Well now, you can see the cracks in the foundation and in the wall. Sometimes you have to improvise, so we're taking the legal route. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. Using one of these naturally formatted automobile things. You switch it on by pulling on the board. Yeah, buddy! Oh, fuck. You're not operating this, man. Oh, yes, we are. It can't be any harder than a plane, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck this. Come on. No, wait, 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 wait. There has to be a logical reason. We're not fucking with this anymore. Oh, these are the generators. Hey. We're gonna waste police time. Let's do this, man. <laughs> oh, that hurts so much. <laughs> fucking asshole. I did the. So we switched locations because some dude came and was like, this is all private property, you can't park here. We found this pretty cool public uh, beach area. like this spider web shut down there's only electricity to power the like uh, emergency lights at the top god damn this place is beautiful tension It's gonna be a long way up. 
level one done. Only, I guess, four more to go. Level two. This shit is fucking killing me. We got how far up? This much to go. Okay. So, the next one is the big boy. My hand, I literally, from the morning, I cannot extend it more than this because the pain is terrible. So, I'm climbing like this. I cannot reach higher than this, but it's doable. I really want to get to the damn top. This thing is slippery as hell. Now this fucking roof part, fucking slippery. So I'm trying to hold on. Stop. It is so calm here. There is barely any wind. Today is actually Swiss Independence Day. Fucking beautiful. Fireworks there. Fireworks somewhere there. People having barbecues and shit. Somebody actually came right there. They're walking. Somebody came to the tower. My left hand, this hand is fucking dead, but it moved so much I barely feel the pain anymore. I wonder how many meters we are above sea level. I'll ask Siri in a second, she can tell us. I can say she is if it's like an actual. Is that bouncy? Three, two, one, shoot up! Oh my gosh. Yeah! Whoa. Woo! <laughs> yes! Made it into the burger. There's about 200 volts of electricity, as indicated by a tiny like computer thing. So what we're gonna do? Climb down, meet up with Dylan, and hopefully find a place to sleep. All right, we're gonna go down. Let's let this water. Danger of death, right? Huh. Danger of mort. Danger day mort. Well, shit. I just don't like the fact that that thing is on. <laughs> it's like. Oh yeah. Careful, the electric fence comes up. After all, yeah, you got a massive round of applause. Fuck. For that. How much shit? So now we're going towards the party. I have the footage of him jumping off the thing right next to him. <laughs> so we're showing some people the footage. I am near the fire. Yeah. It's very damn warm. It's cool. Fireworks going on. It's a good night. And <laughs> So, found the spot behind the uh, tower. The pine seems thick enough 
to like stop tiny drops of rain that have been falling for the last like couple of hours. I think I'm gonna set up a hammock here. Dylan found his own place. Matt is like searching still, so I don't know what he's gonna do. Hopefully tonight it's not gonna be that rainy. Yeah, I'm gonna try to camp here. I'm done setting up. I chose this spot because the trees are densest above it. Matt has actually left, so I'm gonna be sleeping solo, which is actually the way I like it. Not gonna be bothered by anybody. Cool. Let me snuggle in this thing. Snuggled in. I got this tarp on. I think it might get a bit wet, rainy and stuff. So I just want to make sure everything seems peaceful. Let's see when I wake up. So I just woke up. It started raining. Well, I guess I was woken up by the rain. Okay, I'm gonna have to pack up and get out of this fucking thing. I actually woke up a few hours ago also because it was cold and then exercised a bit and then went back to sleep. Oh yeah, Matt actually came in the middle of the night. It is actually 12. Well, I guess I had a good sleep. down a bit. We're at a nearby city. We're gonna go chill at McDonald's for a bit and he wants to jump again. So I guess we're gonna go back to the tower. Yeah, hopefully I can dry all my shit today. Maybe in the evening we'll make it to Zurich and we're gonna chill a bit warm up. Yeah. You know what this just did? This saved us three euro. Yeah, fucking crazy. So we're back at our starting point. Well, it seemed like the rain poured down again. Well, I have the opportunity. I uh, hung all my shit out to dry. That got wet, you know, last night or this morning. Matt is gonna try to cook some food. Dylan is planning to jump again when the weather clears up a bit. Yeah, we're just taking a break, I guess. After this, we're gonna go to Zurich. We have one contact there that uh, will meet us, show us around. Should be interesting. Yep. As he was packing the chute, good weather kind of passed. Now that he's ready, there's a fucking thunderstorm coming. We're gonna go with plan B. As it starts raining, we're just gonna drive off to Zurich. Go from there. Fuck you. Just gonna progress somewhere. I like how you use your blicker. Well, I want to play the game, eh? <laughs> I gotta learn sometimes. Those chickens!
made it to Zurich. We really don't even, don't even. We really fucking struggle with the parking. Been running around this place for like uh, one hour just looking for a place to park. Now, there's a store right there. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna buy some shit, we're gonna buy some food. In about one extra hour, we're meeting our new friend, I guess. He's gonna show us some rooftops. And then, we're going to go underground. For now, like I said, we're gonna grab some food. Yeah. South Alright, made it to the first building. It's pretty nice. Kind of late, but should be good enough. And the dude we're supposed to meet should be somewhere around the corner. So is the building. So that is the building. We're gonna try to head up. Hopefully we can do it during the sunset because it does look fucking beautiful. I wonder what the scenery is gonna look like when we're elevated this much in the city. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find the dude now and go up. Yeah, yeah, we did this one before. I'm in the elevator here. <laughs> Doors should be locked. Yeah, we could climb down. And off the roof. <laughs> so since Dylan actually didn't jump near the tower, he's gonna try to ride now from this building. Let's see how it goes. Should be very interesting. Yeah, but... See you down. Mm -hmm. Have a good jump. Oh, he's going down quick. Yeah, what's he should, should make it. Yeah, he'll make it. Good, 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 good. Field. Nice. I think we should really get the fuck out of here before somebody calls the police. Yeah, buddy. How? I was like preparing to land in the road. And then there was a lamppost, and I was like pulling on my oh, front fuck that shit. fucking went around the lamppost. <laughs> okay. And then... Come on, kitty. You're so close. Kitty. God fucking damn. <laughs> that cat is fucking cheese. So now we're gonna go to these tunnels. We're pretty close. Yeah. 
somebody's up there. are specifically to transfer power plant energy across the city. So I'm in the middle of the fucking energy right now. There's like a mini channel beneath my feet. Some kind of charge. <laughs> so you scared the shit out of me, dude. What is this? Oh, shit. I don't know if it's shy, The only German word I know. Oh, they have a dubic. That is cool. That's yeah, cool water, but the winter It's so hard to breathe. Yeah. It's not fucking yeah. That's the main problem. This is the main one. Yeah. At the end of the time, there are workers who do it. And we're going to risk switching on the lights at night time. Not yeah. alert yeah. the workers, but. Yeah. Yeah. When I tell you it's hot, it is 45 degrees Celsius in here. The fucking bacon, boy. God damn. It actually goes 40 minutes that way. We're not gonna walk all the way because it's just too fucking long. But we're not gonna walk a bit, like I said, just for the fucking view. Plus, we cannot keep the lights on too long.
All right, out of that fucking hellhole, main goal. Find the rooftop to sleep on. I'm fucking dead after that shit. So we arrived near the first location. Hopefully this is gonna be the one we can actually sleep on. Our friend is not gonna be joining us. If we cannot find a proper place to set up our hammock star, he is gonna show us another place. All right, I'm gonna go check it out. Find a scaffold. Dylan should be somewhere up there. Matt decided to look for another way. I hope Dylan didn't trigger a fucking alarm. So there are so many machines making so much noise here. We're gonna try to go to the end of the roof. Oh, this is so much better. So we found a spot at the edge of the roof. I hung my hammock up already. That's Dylan's. Yep, so this is the spot. Don't want to flash too much because it's like right at the edge of the street. These stairs right here, we did not take them because at the bottom of them there are cameras. But that's the way we're gonna go down in the morning. Pretty damn quick. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot. The only thing that could fuck it up, well, two things. Either somebody comes or it starts fucking raining. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna try to snuggle in now. All right, I am in tight, but it's doable. Okay, I'm gonna stop flashing. Time to try to sleep. Okay, it's 6 a.m. Can't really sleep anymore because it's fucking cold. This hammock spot is not that good. My rope got stretched. My butt is actually touching the ground right now. I'm not. So interestingly, the machines have actually stopped working. That one is kind of going on, but when we were here in the night, all of these were like going off. That's why most of these spots that we could set up a hammock to were kind of not usable, because it was way too loud. This looks pretty cool. much to add. Dylan is still sleeping. My hammock kind of tight and the rope's loose. I was hanging very low. I'm still slow. I'm trying to take in the environment. This place looks beautiful as always. And calm. Very calm. So Dylan is up. We actually are going to try this building, since we're basically nearby, the problem with this is that we were told that people got caught multiple times and they were going in the night and this the morning, so the security might actually be not sleeping, so it's kind of fucking risky. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I do want to get to the roof, it seems interesting.
to the top. And wouldn't you know it, it's fucking beautiful. Hopefully we didn't trigger anything. The dude that told us the way up here actually said that there's a camera somewhere along the way. We didn't notice any camera. So most likely it noticed us. On the left. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I'm gonna chill up here for a bit. Well this place is fucking sick. But, I don't want to stay up here too long. We got a couple of photo shoots here. Now I'm gonna get the fuck out of here because it's weird that it's so empty. There's gotta be somebody around here. We hopefully won't run into them. Back at where we started in Zurich, we're gonna go to that first uh, restaurant place and uh, decide on what the fuck to do after we're done snacking. I feel rested, tired, not like I want to go to sleep. No, I need to sleep tomorrow. Now, since we're kind of at the furthest point of Switzerland we wanted to go, Zurich, we're gonna start the second half of the trip and circle back. Now, along the way to Geneva, we do have a couple of spots we want to check. Hopefully, in the next uh, three days, we'll be able to achieve them all. But for now, we're going back to the car, back to Interlock, and uh, we'll take it from there. We've got about a two hour drive ahead of us. Not that bad. So we actually did a bit of a pit stop to check this other lake out. Got so damn dead after driving because of the traffic jam. Actually closer to three. It was a terrible period. But this lake looks sick. I think we're gonna chill here for a bit. I mean, we're kind of heading to a chill spot. <laughs> we're gonna double chill. This is like chilling to the power of two. <laughs> yeah. Hold 
about to go down. We got food. We gotta cook some shit. Chilling, and this fucking dolphin pulls up out of nowhere. The vessel has emerged. <laughs> so, how deep did you go? Um, 10 meters. It's completely black, man. I just see dust all around. This dude fell from the sky, and this dude emerged from the depths of the river. And those two ladies are just like random people <laughs> using our water. Away. Heat and stuff. <laughs> so it's just been a nice chill evening. We didn't do anything like extreme, we didn't do anything like nerve wracking. We just chilled in our camping spot, cooked some food, had some laughs. You know how it goes. It's fun being alive. Healthy. Same hammock setup as always. When we come to this place at least. Dallas still like talking on the phone somewhere. Matt still like actually he went to the city to so sneak in a hostel's kitchen and cook some spaghetti <laughs> he's still cooking all right it's 11 30 right now i did wake up in the night to exercise because it was cold that's becoming a routine at this point matt is still not here so i guess he fucking fell asleep with his spaghetti i'm gonna pop out of this take a swim He's actually right fucking there. He was goddamn hiding from us. Fucking sneaky ninja. <laughs> so the second night, we were walking around town looking for a place to set up our hammocks. And we came across, during our search, this uh, hostel place. We went through it. And we found a kitchen, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna cook some food and uh, chill a bit. Hopefully. Yeah. Nice and covert, I like it. Have you? So there's the spot. We're heating up um, spaghetti he made yesterday and left in the fridge here. <laughs> it's pretty sick.
So I'm not doing this one because the platform is not there. It's even dangerous with the platform. So without it, it's quite fucking suicidal. Yeah, we're gonna go a bit higher. There's like another supposed spot. We're gonna try to find it. Yeah, it's pretty here. This is it. We found a spot. These guys are gonna wake shit off this thing. Crazy. Okay, one. Yes. Our boy is down there. <laughs> Did it yet again? It was pretty fucking sick. Now it's time for us to do whatever the fuck we want. Uh, we got this was actually pretty fucking fun because me following him to his spots. It seems like it's all about him, but he gets us to places we wouldn't normally find, like this fucking edge, which looks goddamn beautiful. So yeah, for today, that was the big thing we all wanted to do. And that was sick. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we just found, accidentally, a bit further away from Dylan's uh, jumping spot, this side mountain path. Big time. Long way down. <laughs> I'm at the end, that's where I came from, that's where it goes, now let me show you the way back. I initially thought you were too close, and then I looked over and I was like, I see, like I saw your shoot open, and I'm like, go on, go on, go on. And then just did, you see the, did you see the off heading a little bit?
we're back here. Um, we're gonna chill a bit. Maybe later we'll go to another spot, take a shot, play some games or some shit. But for now, we're just gonna chill down here. This time we're um, nearby the hostels, but we're a bit more in the woods so nobody would bother us or wake us the fuck up. So Dylan's sleeping here, like right next to me. Um, further there, if you heard some bitch jump into the pool, we're really close to the hostel. And Matt, actually, the day we were sleeping in the kayaks, Matt was at his bench spot. He wants to come back there because he thinks nobody will disturb him. But the point is, I think he's gonna be disturbed. All right, I'm gonna stop talking shit and get in this thing. So, final night, tomorrow we wake up, go to Geneva, fly back. got another one in mind. Um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm back. Head off to the plane. Had it done. Legal three and button.